I'm Damon Swisher, and I created the Vast.net to signal a change to the world, drive interests, and empower the next Marco Polos, the next explorers to brave the waves and discover what lies below. What is Earth? It's our home, our life, and ultimately, it's a world of water, with 70% of the Earth's surface covered by the ocean. It's like a comforting embrace, a lover ever locked in a hug, a field of protection providing for the rich array of luxuriant lives. It supports all manner of creatures on Earth, our lifeline, providing 70% of the oxygen we breathe, which is not only important for our lungs, but to the life we partake of which allows us to work and succeed in our pursuit of observation. It's a dazzling canvas, the ink of which humans have not even begun to write. Ninety-four percent of all life on Earth exists in one amazingly huge plain. Thirty percent of the Earth might be land, but the ocean is special in that creatures can live ever deeper within, reaching depths of up to 35,000 feet. The ocean contains many of the world's most valuable keys, including the ones we've begun to see in an important light, the key to survival. The history of our planet's climate may be trapped behind those doors, which will only open once we've reached further into the depths, and likely to follow are the keys to our climate's future. As our society matures, so too do our energy needs, and the vast possibilities of harvesting that abound within the ocean are uncountable. Ocean exploration has led to innumerable discoveries, and will lead to countless more, including the ability to characterize other planets more accurately than ever before. And yet... The ocean remains a more alien place to us than ever. We claim to be advanced and mature stewards of this planet, but like neglectful caretakers, 95% of our ocean remains lost to us, despite it being right outside our windows. 228,000 species have been classified in the ocean, yet 700,000 species remain undiscovered, including more than 8 species of whale, and 91% of all marine species are yet to be classified. What effect is climate change or pollution having on these poor creatures, and how can we help them if we are yet to be introduced? Exploration is observation. How can we claim to follow the science when we haven't even taken the first step? Though satellites have been able to map the shape of the ocean floor, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what it's like down there. Meanwhile, we know more about the dark side of the moon than about our own nautical backyard. Our reefs are dying, delicate colonies that have persisted for hundreds of years. Plankton are going through periods of disappearance. Whales are changing their song. The ocean is lighting up mysteriously. Invasive species are wreaking havoc across the seas. Sharks are being slaughtered on misconceptions. And all the while we claim to love our planet yet we know so little about the important parts of it. Things have begun to change for the better. Humans, driven by their endless curiosity, are making strides into researching the deep sea flora and fauna. Our appetite for exploration has fired up again. Innovations, developments, and breakthroughs are only just beginning as we revolutionize our sights towards the big blue, in turn doing our part to save the animals and prevent the tragedies of the past from happening again, including large-scale cleaning ventures aimed to take back the negative effects of pollution that we've played a role in and fundamentally change the process for years to come. And through it all, the Vast.net will follow along. It's not just about news, it's about discovery, being accessible to all people and all ages, to inform, inspire, and ignite. <laughs>
It's time for us to stop living in the dark and do our part. Subscribe to our channel, follow The Vast on social media, and head over to thevast.net to discover the ocean and find out more about actionable ways you can participate. We also have job boards for those who are interested in entering the industry and merchandise with proceeds going to institutions aimed at bringing us to a positive level of existence alongside our marine counterparts. We hope to see you there.